Now it's a question of how low can we go, and the thirty-two really dollar a barrel that we Chris. saw we in. Were, uh, we were trading in the thirty-nine level at, at yeah, different times during the session last week. Agreed, uh, but now it can conceivably go to thirty, thirty-two dollars a barrel into the fourth quarter of this year. Global oversupplies remain. We continue to see uh, crude crude oil go into tank, but it, area of particular is U.S. crude market. We lose a million barrels a day of crude demand as refiners go into maintenance. Uh, imports are expected to stay strong, particularly from Canada and also from waterborne imports, given that crude uh, supplies ex-US continue to look pretty strong. And so if we continue to put crude oil into tank, you just have to take a look at where time spreads are. Uh, this year, the, the, the kind of six-month time spreads have traded at $8 contango. Now they're just at about three, three and a half. So if we take another $5 off oil, then we can get to 32, 33. And we just see if we have continued weakness in uh, EM with Chinese equities continuing to sell off, then the risks look to the downside here uh, with oil, given uh, one, the fundamentals, and two, you, you just have to look at uh, managed money positioning as well. People are, people are at the highest net short ever for WTI, even though we're at these extreme lows. So there's yeah, still appetite I, in the market to, I, to I, short I should, oil from here. I should point out that even this morning, this is changing so quickly that right now WTI is at 38.86. It certainly seems, Chris, that like this is the consensus trade that momentum is pushing oil prices lower. What would it take to turn that sentiment around? What, what would it take to see oil push back above $45 a barrel? Uh, I think the one, you're not going to be able to do it on the demand side, so you're going to have to ratchet up the supply side, and two areas of which that can happen. One is uh, a failure of the Iran deal in that a presidential veto gets overturned. The market's baking in probably half a million barrels a day for next year. That can definitely change things quickly, but also perhaps uh, a restriction of capital to U.S. shale guys. Uh, from an economics perspective, things have looked okay, and U.S. shale production has been a lot more resilient than even probably uh, the most optimistic in the market of thought. So if you yank the capital chain kind of on some of these guys, then that can change things quickly, particularly given that kind of uh, the how short the market is at the moment, things can change to the upside relatively quickly in terms of uh, liquidation of these positions.